What is going on guys for Misery Gaming to bring you another video on Naruto Shippuden Ultimate Ninja Blazing And today guys we had our maintenance fan castle is done So hopefully all you guys did as much grinding as you could got the ranks you wanted etc etc so um, Quite a bit to go on in global today. Uh, we got four stones from our I won't go into it because it's you guys got four pearls two additional for extended maintenance and two for our regular um, and then obviously we have the new limit break characters which were teased in the news yesterday or uh, last week and it's kind of cool because we are actually giving them at the same time as JP so speculation now goes are we going to completely catch up to JP will they be I mean to be honest if you're an English player if you obviously if English is your primary language I don't see a point in playing JP I mean unless you just really want to have two Nardo accounts that you don't have to uh, keep swapping transfer codes, things like that, because it's honestly only a week apart, and even on events like this, they're exactly at the same time frame. So, but anyway, we have Neji, uh, Neji Six Star, we have Nardo Rasengan, we have Sanade, we have Sasuke Chidori, Bravery, uh, Rock Lee, and we have uh, Shikaku Gara are all limit breakable. So I'm sure you guys will see the uh, the dates on or the uh, stats on that. Um, eventually coming up pretty soon so and then also we also are gonna have uh, oops I exit my news um, let me see here do, 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 do. and then we also have here what was the other the other news update real quick oh and then the Phantom Castle distribution is coming up so I think I actually already got my reward so hopefully everyone else did as well so there's that and I'm trying to here we go all right so I wanted to go over the JP notes real fast before we completely go into global so let me pull that up for you guys give me one second bear with me uh, do, 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 there we go all right cool 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 so here we go here we go here we go so all right so here they also as well they have a body support campaign that's going till the 6th of january i don't know if that means they are getting um points used do not get any points for pulling on the current banner oh wow only in place till, till january 11th you do not get any points for pulling on the current banner oh wow that's crazy i did not know that i guess i'm gonna have to check the notes if we are getting points for our banner in global Wow, that's kind of crazy. Um, okay, so they have that as well. They also have the uh, all the limit breaks and stuff like we do. They have their Gara raid, which I believe is already out. I believe their Gara raid's already out. So we'll see if uh, I, we should. Yeah, we have his abilities down here too. So let's get into their new characters. They have a new banner with Eno and Ten Ten. Um, from what I heard, this is a banner to skip. But let's get into this. So Eno is. Uh, she's short range, she is 1684 health, 2034 attack, and her field skill reduces heart elemental damage. I assume that's like the 10 to 15 percent like it normally is. Um, buddy skill they haven't revealed yet, and her jutsu 5 chakra 3.5 attack towards one enemy in range, and a 40 percent chance for immobilization. So it's decent, I mean 40 percent isn't that great, so she might have abilities where you could unlock her and boost her rate of mobilization and then she has nine times attack with one in range so pretty lackluster there to be honest for a short range unit um 10 10 is a long range unit she's got almost 1200 hp almost 1300 attack and reduces chance of range slip damage by whatever percentage so not great either and then she has a four shocker jutsu three times attack towards all main range and 70 percent chance for slip damage so that's decent for four chakra um I still feel that Sasuke would still be better in almost every scenario, but obviously if you want a body element, she's not terrible. Um, but her ultimate is a 9 times attack towards all enemy in range, so that actually is pretty awesome for an ultimate. Um, I don't, obviously I haven't seen her in gameplay yet, so I don't know exactly what her, um, is. I don't have a JP, so I can't actually play it on the, play it on the screen for you guys, so... I don't know what the actual range of the AoE could be, because like when I saw Naruto, wisdom and he was an aoe for his first jutsu i was like oh my god it's gonna be awesome it's gonna be something similar like fireball jutsu and his little range is like a tiny tiny circle just like a short range character's ranges so it wasn't as great as i thought it was gonna be but he's i mean overall he's still a great unit um and then we have gara so gara is gonna be a raid character so he is a mid-range so he is free to play 
Um, but he's in mid range, 13, 20 HP, 1200 attack, so kind of low on stats. Um, but his field skill is pretty awesome, where it seems here. Is he reduces body elemental damage, so he's really good to use in those um, objectives where you have to use the weakness element. And then his buddy skill is 10% for dodging and attack, which is a pretty decent buddy skill too. His jutsu is 5 chakra for 6 turns, allows you to block up to 2000 damage. So that's okay. It's another form of Gara that we've seen before, basically. And then his ultimate is 8 times attack towards all enemies in range. So he's okay for a free unit. I guess, I think fire, I think heart lacks a lot of AoE style units. I know third Hokage has one, and then I want to say that's it, as far as I can remember in fire, because I know Sinati is obviously single target, um, Kakashi is all single targets. So, oh, well, there is the Dodara has an ultimate, oh, and Itachi. So, yeah, I guess there are quite a bit of, now that I refresh my memory, there are quite a bit of AoE, so I guess that's not really that great. Oh, and here we do have the abilities. Okay, so. You know, yep, she has two, so she has two boosts on of immobilization by 10% each, so that's not too bad. Um, and 10 tens are pretty bad. I, all of her ability upgrades aren't very great. Um, huh. Five percent. Okay, so it looks like he has perfect dodges or substitution jutsu for his. I'm pretty sure that's what that is. Five percent of dodging a physical attack. Five percent of dodging a physical attack. Not slip damage. And lowers rate of suit encounters by 15% twice and reduces body damage. Oh man, his abilities. Are... So he lacks on his jutsus, um, but his abilities are actually pretty good. So for the fact that he's obviously farmable, so you're going to be able to unlock all five of those abilities really easily. Wow. All right. So he's he might he might make the cut. He might he might be decent to use. It's just unfortunately his stats are really low, and his jutsus aren't that great. I honestly probably would only use his ultimate to be honest, unless you are gonna stall with him, and you could use obviously his first jutsu. He could be the stalling unit while your other guys heal, um, while you you know stall and build up chakra. So not too bad though. All right. Well, that's pretty neat. Um, Gar is not too bad. I'm not thoroughly disapproved. So. But anyway, we as well have the Sakura campaign, so if you guys never bought her, if you guys want her, she does go to 6-star. And then she also, um, she also limit breaks, so she does go pretty high in uh, stats. So yeah, at level 150, she's 1492 strength and 1279 health. I'm on the road to getting my limit broken, but unfortunately the uh, limit broken event for the second round hasn't come back in a while, so I haven't had a chance to get more uh, crystals, so have to wait on that for a while still. And obviously our big thing is the Blazing Festival is open for this one tail Naruto. And I, especially since our next banner is kind of a meh banner, I'm honestly going to be skipping it. So I will probably be putting everything into whatever I can farm this week and um, today for this to uh, go after this guy. And as well, you get the chance to get the other Blazing exclusive characters that are, uh, you know, have the specific raid materials that you need to awaken them. So Rock Lee, Itachi, Zabusa, um, Shikaku Gara, Minato, even though he doesn't require a, uh, a special material. So I don't have Itachi, I don't have Rock Lee, I definitely wouldn't, and obviously Naruto yet either, so I, would, I wouldn't mind that, I wouldn't mind getting extra Minatos, I wouldn't mind getting extra Zabasas to lower their cost and unlock more abilities as well. So those are all really great stuff there too. So definitely do the Blazing Festival. I mean, I'm interested. I'm gonna go into the the global notes and see if we get points for this banner. Otherwise, it's gonna be kind of shitty. Um, and then we're gonna have the State Two Sasuke event. If you guys follow JP at all, he is a really, really good free to play unit. He is probably the top free to play unit in the game. He even outbeats Jiraiya just because of his utility. And he is a limit breakable character, so he does hit in the 2000s for his stats. So that's gonna start tomorrow for us at one o'clock. And then obviously we have the trials, and we are going to be doing a run through of the trials, and then the stuff next week we're going to have um, stuff back coming up. So what is this? Uh, oh no, these are now available. So yeah, because the Blazing Festival banner came back, they brought back the raids to get the material. So Itachi, Gara, Rock Lee, and Zabasa, and then it looks like uh, oh, I guess the Kakashi event came, came back as well. And then next week we'll have uh, Konkuro, Gara, obviously. Um, and that's it. So, and these stuff are still available. So, yep, that's what's going on. So, next week's going to be a pretty dry week. The only thing we'll have is the Gara Raid, really, and, um, and that banner. So, but anyway, 
today um, because I actually want to do a summoning video with 100 pearls, so I'm going to wait till tomorrow. I can farm a couple more from this event because unfortunately we didn't get a really big farm new event for pearls. The only thing we got was the trials, and you can only get up to uh, up to nine, I believe, because you can get three from all three objectives on each on each A and B rank, and then you can get the two lucky drops, which brings it to eight. And I believe you should get one when you complete um, A and B one time. So you can only get nine, unfortunately, which kind of sucks. So I need to have the Sasuke event come tomorrow. And then I can farm with the rest of the pearls I'll need to be able to do 100 pearl summon for you guys. So I'll do my summoning video tomorrow for you guys. All right. So, But today we're going to go, go do a walkthrough of this event. And this event is a body type event. So you are going to want to bring all skill units. And ooh, there's already a level 110. So I can do that or I can bring a Sakura with me. Huh. I'll bring a Sakura. Yeah. So this is the squad we'll be bringing, and I will go ahead and I'm going to move Sasori over there. That way we have a back, we have our, our healer up front with Sakura, and then we can switch out for Sasori for AOE damage. So but this is the squad we're bringing. Um, I have I actually am lacking scrolls for certain elements to still do my first primary awakening for Neji. That's why you see I haven't even done his initial awakening yet. I need a few more uh, skill scrolls, so next week will be a lot of farming for that. So, which is actually it's kind of cool that we don't have a big new event besides the little Gara raid because thankfully I won't have to go crazy crazy on farming raids and I can focus a lot on limit breaking, which is great. So anyway, let's get into it though. So I know the B rank wasn't very hard, but that's B rank, so we'll see how uh, how A rank goes. This is my first time trying it, so this is live, guys. <clears throat> so we'll kick it up to two times for you guys. Alright. Alright, thank god. I thought it was my audio was going to cut out already. Oh, and it did. Awesome. Alright, well here we go. <laughs> We're going to have audio cut out already for us. Alright, now again we have this. So let's do... We'll leave Sasuke up here. It doesn't seem... Yeah, it does not seem difficult at all they are uh, they are not matching up too well so it seems like it's going to be a pretty easy pretty easy a rank raid um, obviously the limit break raids have not been that difficult since uh, I want to say since even the first one once you got a couple of six stars it was pretty manageable so we'll go ahead and palm rotation and then take them all out but this this shot will for sure Sakura there we go Sasuke can go down here, take him out. So I thought, so when I fought the B rank, we were fighting Jiraiya's and, okay, there, so there is a, there is a Ruchimaru. Can I get both? Nope, so we won't bother with that. So we'll just leave Sasori up there. We'll have him go after a Ruchimaru. And then here we should be able to, nope, I still can't get it. Nope, all right, fair enough. So we'll go ahead and we'll, Sasuke go after him, Neji go after him, now we can isolate Orochimaru. Alright. And, unless I see danger, I don't even really have to worry about, um, okay, we do see danger. Alright, so he's gonna do something. Alright, it's still, like, really nothing, to be honest, so definitely not gonna have to use Jutsu's yet. Alright. Is this the boss now? Nope, not yet. We still got a couple more fights. Alright, so we'll have Neji go over there for us. We'll have Sasori take out this guy with Neji. And we'll bring Sasuke down here away from them so we don't get bunched up. And Neji and Sasori focus on that dude. And then Sasuke can take this guy out. Okay, and okay, so we do have him. Alright, so there is Jiraiya. Can we get him both? I don't think so. No, we cannot. Alright. Can you go back? Alright, thank you. <laughs> Sorry about that. Uh so I'll we'll just we'll take this guy out down here. And then we'll have uh then we'll have Saucer use his level one on these two guys. And we'll have Sasuke do this. Let's see if that can take him out. 
Nope, close. Close, but no cigar. So, but yeah, it's like, you're, they're really just not doing very much. Compared to the s ring grades we've been facing, this is this is like our cakewalk. So, so we're actually going to go ahead and we'll use Sakura's ultimate here to take out... Um, yeah, and we got into mobilization, so this is going to be... We're going to make quick, quick work of Sonata. We might even be able to auto this with a mono skill team. I don't know. You might be able to. Alright, we'll use Neji. Neji to try to seal just because she's he's already immobilized, so. Or use Saucery here. Just because we won't even get around using his ultimate, so you see he's like she's pretty much dead this turn. So that's gonna do it, yeah. That was that was an insanely, <laughs> insanely easy raid. So um, when I post this video, guys don't flame me or be like, oh my god, school was such an easy raid. It's like, I honestly was just making, I never, I didn't even try this event yet. So I actually didn't miss my, um, okay. I got to do it one more time to get my objective. I got to use a three person combination and use a, uh, yeah, use a zero jutsu. I forgot you got to do that for those objectives. It's based on that. So we got a Naruto crystal though. That's cool. I think I'm still missing some scrolls to be able to do his level 2 awakening, though. And we got a rock where you weren't. Okay, cool. Cool, cool, cool. And for the lucky drop, you need to get... Neji and Tsunade. Okay. Sounds good. Alright, well that's gonna be the video, guys. That's what we have going on this week. So, definitely, limit breaking is the thing to do. And, um... And we are gonna have Sasuke drop tomorrow... And I believe tomorrow is when we'll start Wisdom, I believe. I believe right now we have... Wait, because we, we obviously just had the update because we had our uh, had our new day happen. I think right now it's Bravery. Yeah, Bravery right now. And then and then uh, tomorrow when Sasuke drops, we'll have Wisdom active. So we can do a decent amount of farming tomorrow between getting Sasuke. And then when the event's not up, you guys can obviously farm... Um, wisdom scrolls and wisdom ramen so very cool so hope you guys enjoy the video we'll come back tomorrow to do some stuff with the sasuke raid and to be also be doing some summoning for you guys really really hoping that we do pull one tail naruto if not from what i've seen you can do the event with just one tail naruto friend so hopefully you'll have a couple friends with him um because he's pretty op as far as um damage he is probably the king and we'll be doing a character analysis on him tomorrow on, uh, on him tomorrow as well. So, anyway, guys, hope you guys enjoy it. We'll see you guys in the next one, and have a great day, guys. Catch you later. Bye.